So in this tutorial we're going to look at Run by Stephen Fretwell. It's quite an easy song to play and it's mainly based upon this G major chord here. Uh, so we've got the second finger, third fret the low E, first finger, second fret the A string, third finger, third fret the B, and pinky finger, third fret the high E string. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to strum the bass note on the E string, the low E string at the third fret there. And we're going to miss the down strum, we're going to start by strumming up. Accented beat down with a strum. And then we're going to go up, down, up. That's a full bar. I'm going to take these top two fingers off, so the second and first fingers. I'm going to hit the open A string. Exact same strumming. Bass, up, down, up. Accented strum, up, down, up. So far you've got the... We're going to do exactly the same strumming, but this time we're going to play the second fret with the first finger on the A string. Strumming is exactly the same. And then we move to the third fret with the second finger on the A string. We're going to hit the bass note. Up, down, up. But instead of hitting the accented beat, we're going to play a little riff. Which is three on the A string, two on the A string, open A string, finish it off with the third fret on the low E string. So that last chord there. Okay, so the whole thing, got third fret on the low E. Open A. Second fret on the A, then third fret on the A, just half of the strum there, and then the dun, 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 the little riff down. Now that riff only happens in the song when Stephen Fretwell is not singing. When he is singing, we play a full bar on that last chord there. So. Okay, and when he is singing, Exactly the same strumming, so bass note, the third fret there on the A, up, down, up, accented down, up, down, up, and then back to the first chord, that G. So there's actually only one other section in this song, and it's the section where he goes, uh, beautiful tree, it's a shame that the root of it's me. And on the me, he plays this D major chord. On the record, it's just a single strum. And then he goes to a C for a single strum, C major. And then A minor seven. So you've just got that high G note on the third fret, the high E string there. Yeah, so from your C, take your third finger off, keep the rest of the chord the same. Want to get the third fret on the high E string with either your pinky or your third finger, whatever's easiest for you. And then there's a whole bar where there's um, no no chord at all while he's singing "Wait by the window for you," and he's back into the main riff there. If you listen to the live version, it does alter a bit because he keeps the strumming somewhat similar to the verse with the D chord, then C. Seven. And then he's got this muted strum for a whole bar before he goes back into the verse. So the, all he's doing there is holding his fingers across the guitar and keeping this strumming somewhat similar, focusing a lot on a. You've got that accent in the same place and you're focusing on up strums mainly. So that little break section with strumming would be D. C, E minor 
of seven. Then either a full bar of rest or the wait by the window for you. So that's pretty much it for this song. Um, there's not a lot to it, so you've got to be very aware of the dynamical range. Um, so when you're playing in the verse, you might want softer strumming, so you've got more room for your vocal. You know, when you're not singing, you could give it a bit more strength than your strumming. So as always, make sure you jam along with the original song. I'll pop a link in the description for you to do so. And yeah, happy practicing and take care.